Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a lot of stuff to go over. We have some new updates on the save bug glitch currently going on in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We have some new DLC theories and then a few other bits and bobs to take a look at. There's a lot of stuff to break down today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, new updates on the save data bug currently going on in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. This was tweeted out by Joe Merrick, and then we actually have a Twitter thread from a user that actually had lost their save data and how they uh, how they got it back. So, uh, let's take a look at this. So, we've got Joe Merrick here saying, so it seems people who have reported the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet save bug are starting to get contacted by Nintendo, and their saves are being restored through a process of uploading them and them fixing it. Japan only so far. So, the they are actually fixing save files that have been corrupted. It's only in Japan at the moment, but hopefully this gets pushed out worldwide uh, very, very soon. And this also means that hopefully they are working on a fix. Well, we know they're working on a fix, but hopefully it's close to coming out. Uh, they then go and say, this bug is still incredibly rare and we've been unable to replicate it. We'll keep you all apprised uh, of anything else we learn. Uh, but you can all start to rest easy. Hopefully, Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America will soon start reaching out to those who contacted about it. The saves are salvage uh, salvageable if it ever happens to you. So yeah, worst case scenario and you do lose your save data, it's not the end of the world. You are able to get it back. Obviously, you shouldn't have to go through that anyway. There shouldn't be a thing uh, in, in today's gaming uh, where you just lose everything because of a bug and it's not just pokemon you know i'm not just saying it is just a pokemon thing it happens in a ton of games it shouldn't be a thing in 2023 because all those hours you pump into a game for them to just go like that it's just ridiculous um we have someone here that's obviously had their uh, account deleted uh, having lots of shinies entire pokedex completed multiple events done multiple level 100s and then get this message that can ruin a year and it's the save data in the nintendo switch couldn't be recognized please turn off the system and then try again so that's what it looks like when your save data is corrupted and hopefully orlando can get it back i'm sure he will be able to uh fingers crossed for that um but this is uh kind of the uh the kind of the process that you have to go through if your save data is deleted um or corrupted should i say and this is what happens when it's all fixed so uh it's yesterday tweeting out saying uh they basically did like a massive twitter thread of like everything they were going through and like dating it and everything like that but basically on the 28th of march i received a call uh from nintendo's customer service department and scarlet save data was successfully restored it took about four weeks from the occurrence of the phenomenon but the data came back i hope that the same symptom will be restored and if a new person who has the same phenomenon appears it will be dealt with quickly um so this is obviously what happened so they got to download this and then uh, obviously they just put it into the game i'm not sure like the process that you have to go through for like uploading it and stuff um because there's obviously no like cloud save data or anything like that for pokemon so i don't understand how they do it but there is a way and then as you can see uh they've downloaded it and then they click on pokemon scarlet and then it loads up uh, perfectly and uh, they get their save data back, which is really, really good news um, for anyone that has had their save data deleted. Um, so this is just kind of how it occurred. Again, we don't know the, the reason behind it, but this is just how this person lost it. So they said that Scarlet save data was blown away. Why does it take so long to enter the Poke Portal? I thought I saved and restarted the software. So as they were connecting to the Poke Portal, they uh, well, they saved or something, and then they restarted the software, and then this happened. I don't feel like I can do anything with the repair. So yeah, I'm not really sure. It's something to do with the Poke Portal, and they turned it off, and then obviously they got the corrupted save file. I turned the power off and on several times, but the save data did not recover. Maybe I should call customer support tomorrow. The problem that Scarlet save data cannot be read when I call. Nintendo's customer service center they asked me to send it uh, in for repair please follow the instructions and then yeah basically they just did a massive twitter thread of everything they went through and uh, again you can obviously uh, go check this whole thread out if you have had your save data deleted and maybe uh, it will help you um uh, with your next steps and what to do obviously it is just rolling out for japan at the moment though so again if you are in europe or america or anywhere else apart from japan uh, we still have to wait a little bit longer but uh, the, the good news about this is that save data files are being restored so uh, fingers crossed that uh, they are very very close to fixing everything in regards to this save data bug so that's that portion of the video uh, next up we have a mystery gift ending tomorrow on the 31st of march this is a reminder 
from uh, Pokey Callo saying, reminder, only two days left. This was, of course, posted on the, the 29th, though. Um, so, yeah, it basically finishes on the 31st. Uh, and this is a pretty good mystery gift as well. This is why I've kind of put it in today's video, just in case you've just bought the game and you didn't know about this mystery gift or you just never got around to redeeming it. Uh, it basically gives you 10 Carbos and then uh, a, a Terra Blast TM as well. So, obviously, very, very nice uh, mystery gifts here. So, for the 10 Carbos, it's more speed. And then for the Terra Blast uh, TM, it's just less Terra. So, make sure to put those in and get the 10 carbos and the uh the, the terror blast tm as well because both really really useful like the carbo is obviously really useful for speed uh evs and then obviously terror blast is very useful for pokemon that don't necessarily have stab for that certain terror type thing so yeah make sure to get these if you haven't already that is finishing on the uh the 31st of march tomorrow uh next up we also have this uh summary of the first episode of the pokemon scarlet and violet anime so this was tweeted out by annie poke uh fandom saying summary for horizons episode one no episode t uh, episode title yet though and it says uh Lico, a girl from the paldea region has enrolled at the academy a uh, boarding school in the kanto region so she actually goes to kanto so she's from paldea but she goes to kanto so i'm guessing she has sprigatito and then she takes the sprigatito to kanto and obviously sprigatito is not native to kanto so everyone's gonna be I'm guessing being like, oh my god, what kind of Pokemon is that? Uh, because obviously everyone, it, like, Sprigatito is just a completely new Pokemon to people in Kanto. Uh, Liko is delighted to receive her first Pokemon, Sprigatito, but it doesn't listen to her at all. So, very much just echoing the first episode of the Indigo League with Ash and Pikachu. Ash getting Pikachu, and then Pikachu not listening to him. I'm sure some sort of event happens which makes Sprigatito and Liko like best friends or whatever. But yeah, a very, very similar to, uh, the similar opener to the, the Pokemon Scarlet, the the Pokemon Indigo League, should I say. Uh, while Liko struggles to deepen her bond with Sprigatito, on the other hand, suspicious people appear who are looking for Liko, uh, Liko's mysterious pendant. So, this is quite interesting because it seems that the anime is going to, well, the evil team is going to be surrounding the pendant, which is really, really good news for, like, DLC and stuff because that means it's very much going to be related to the third legendary. I'm guessing this evil team know what the pendant is about and maybe Liko doesn't. Maybe it was just passed down through, like, generations and now she has it and she just thought it's, like, a nice-looking pendant. Um, but obviously this evil team know the the actual reasoning behind it and so they are going to try and get it so instead of them stealing ash's pikachu in this case they're trying to steal liko's pendant so it's the same kind of thing where i'm sure they'll pop up like in multiple episodes but uh yeah they obviously know the uh, connection between this pendant and uh terapagos or terapagos however you want to pronounce it so that's why they're trying to get the pendant so very similar kind of like story arc in terms of the ash and pikachu story but obviously a little bit different but i don't know why they go back to kanto i think roy is from kanto so potentially that could be a reason how she meets him and stuff but yeah i don't really know why they have to go to kanto like they could have just done it in paldea i think it would have made more sense to do it in paldea but either way i guess maybe if they do it in kanto ash could pop in because obviously he's in kanto at the moment like that's where the series ended so maybe that's why they're doing it but either way we'll have to wait and see moving on though we have a really good theory here by soul silver Art talking about terra pecos and the third legendary and all that so he tweets uh, tweets out saying uh, is Terrapogos the third legendary, the Pokemon the Professor and Heath spoke about? While I may lean one way, all options are possible until official confirmation. But you know that leak that everyone believes, everyone has overlooked, and it says the third legendary is a large blue turtle. So obviously the leak that they're talking about was the one that uh, spoke about the Terraforms and uh, the uh, the new Switch model and stuff, which turns out to be true, because obviously Riddleku Riddle confirmed it. Uh, the third legendary is a large blue turtle, that's pretty clear to me. However, is that blue turtle the same as Terraformes? Terrapagos, 99% yes. Then there's the issue of Terrapagos' name not fitting with the blank letters in the professor's notes. As you can see in the disc Pokemon page in the Scarlet and Violet book, which is obviously what we went over uh, recently, um, you can see that uh, Terrapagos is like it's not the the same amount of characters some people have been saying that obviously a block can have multiple characters which again could be the case but i don't think it's the case here and then they go on to say as you can see in the disc pokemon page in the scarlet and violet book one of those blank spaces can equal more than one letter which in my opinion throws this argument out entirely the biggest thing against it being the third legendary is that it only has pentagons on its shell but as you can see when put together the pentagons make hexagons they could possibly be a pentagonal interlocking place which could be yet another Another misconception from Area Zero. We know Heath's Pokemon Scarlet and Violet book and, in and info from Area Zero isn't always accurate. What people see or describe there isn't always true, like Walking Wake or other paradoxes. To be fair though, with the Walking Wake and the Iron Leaves, that was scribbled down in pencil, whereas the third legendary was scribbled down in ink, so I feel like that had more... Uh, 
I guess, legitimacy behind that, which is why Walking Wake and Iron Leaves don't look like they were depicted in the, uh, the Scarlet and Violet book. Um, what people see or describe there isn't always true, like Walking Wake or the other paradoxes, was something as mysterious as Terra Pagos, they could have easily seen it wrong. All of this put together just points to it being a third legendary with a form change that reveals its true power, in my opinion. Very likely that it is the third legendary, though. I mean, third legendaries always get a form change, and there's just a lot of evidence supporting this Pokemon getting a form change. Of course, it's important to note that the third legendary is more of a fan concept, and Game Freak seem to be redefining what qualifies as one. Many people don't think Eternatus is the third legendary of Sword and Shield. To me, a third legendary has to make a trio with the two box legendaries somehow plot of origin slash law even if the connection is very loose so obviously you've got like rayquaza whose connection with kyogre and groudon as the weather trio uh Eternatus doesn't really have a connection with zacian and zamzenta which is why some people don't necessarily state to add a third legendary pokemon they then go on to say lastly i realized this thread uh is also a very valid point that is more evidence that terry is, is most likely the third legendary Terra Pagos' official art is nearly identical to the depiction of uh, it's in Heath's book. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I, I definitely think it's the third legendary with a form. Uh, that's just what I'm guessing. I mean, there's a lot of evidence supporting that, which is why I do believe that is going to be the case. But we'll have to wait and see. Either way, let me know your thoughts on everything that we covered in today's video. Uh, what are your thoughts on the third legendary? Do you think it is the Terra Pagos or do you think it is uh, something different? Do you think it's going to get a new form? What are your thoughts on the anime as well? Do you think that this is just going to be very much similar to Ash's journey or do you think it's going to be like a little bit different? I mean, episode one is very similar, but we'll have to wait and see. Make sure to put in the mystery gift. That's the updates about the save data book. That's everything from me. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time, Peace.